there's one last thing I want to tell you about the New Age movement. Oprah Winfrey has been promoting all of these New Age people, and it is the teaching that we are little gods. In Jesus' name in the Bible is I am that I am in John 858 after his father's name in Exodus 314 but all these people are using the I am and Jesus said in Matthew 24 verse 5 many will come in my name saying I am millions are saying it right now for that's the Greek word polis millions Oprah Winfrey is responsible for all this nonsense now Jesus said I am the light John 8, 11. I am the door, John 10, 9. I am the resurrection of life, John 11, 25. I am the way, the truth, and the life, John 14, 6. I, I am, I am. That's his title. Now, because all these new ages are saying we are little gods, guess what? This man is going to be worshipped by all the world, Revelation 13, 8. And he believes what they're saying, and he says, you're the little gods, but I am the God of gods. And when you realize that Jesse Jackson Jr. said, we're going to have to add an extra chapter to the Bible because of Obama, Spike Lee said, uh, we, we used to say before Christ and after Christ, now it'll be before Obama and after Obama, and Farrakhan said, a black father and a white mother produced our Savior. You are the instruments that God is going to use to bring about universal change. And that is why Barack has captured the youth. And he has involved young people in a political process that they didn't care anything about. That's a sign. When the Messiah speaks, the youth will hear. Yes, we can. Take more responsibility for our own lives. Yes, we can. To you. Are you messing with people and doing this on purpose? No, not me. No, never done that before. Why would I do that? That's just done. To be honest with you, um, I really think it's really silly. Mm -hmm. You know, um, for the record, you know, I of course believe in God, but I believe in one God. You know, the people must know my religious beliefs. I believe in one God. I believe I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in uh, Christians or. Muslims. I think all that separates people. I think it's one God. I think it's all the same God, and I don't believe in hell. It is a culture. It is a behavior, an empowering behavior at that. They were the gods of hip hop. For, for me, I'm a hip hop fan. I never stopped being a hip hop fan. So for me to walk in a room and see Busy B, it's kind of hard for me to explain to him how much influence this man had in my life or that I understand and know, you know, what he did for hip hop. The younger kids may just look at him and say, okay, that's Busy B. But if it wasn't for Busy B, like, rap wouldn't be where it is. Like, these people are the legends that I grew up watching. KRS One, I spent a summer of my life following this man to shows every weekend because his music was that impactful to me. But it also says something and taught me. You understand what I'm saying? Like, uh, Poor Righteous Teachers is on this album. Poor Righteous Teachers was the whole reason why I started questioning Christianity for one verse when he said take off your cross is crossing up your mental and it, it, it struck me and I'm like okay what is he talking about that was my introduction into Islam into the five percent like yo you know he's he's got a God complex because he said if they wrote the Bible again that he would be in it duh yeah I would be in it I feel like I'm one of the more important people you know in pop culture right now one of the only people with an opinion the Bible had you know 20 30 40 50 characters in it you don't think I would be one of the characters of today's modern Bible and people have their own forms of Bibles now you know it's a new day and age people have their own thinking people have their own things that they're into people have their own religion hip-hop is a religion to a certain extent and the rappers are the preachers and the music is the, is the scriptures you know it's just like church because you go to a concert 
you, 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 you raise your hands in the air, you get dressed up, you sing songs, and you definitely pay some money. It's just like... You know, big respect to every religion, every philosophy that's out there. You know we had to study them all to write this. Big respect to everybody. Hip-hop is a servant to every seeker of light. Hip-hop is divine. This, we're not just rapping. This is divine speech we give, and that's why when you say, I'm criminal-minded, you, you, you attract that to you. And I'm living witness and wisdom. I, mean, I wish my DJ was with me right now. That ain't no bullshit. You say criminal-minded, you attract criminal-minded to you. You say, I'm ready to die. Wow. Point. We spit in divine speech and it's time we start really recognizing that. Give people back to that fifth element of hip hop, get them back to the knowledge. So too many are caught up on just the partying, the, you know, the, and, and not dealing with all the elements of hip hop. They just deal with the rap side of hip hop. So we got to let them know it's a culture. And come back to that fifth element, the knowledge. So without the knowledge, this is what controls and holds everything together. I believe that God is a bloodline as opposed to a belief. I believe that there are certain people who are born God, build period, but to build civilization. I think that's the job of God or the gods, women included. Mm -hmm. uh, this the, the, Only certain people, I think a lot of us who are the gods, the builders of civilization, we don't know how to do anything else, so I'm asking. Yes. Are some people God and others not? But as yourself being God, of course. They are individuals that are actually godless.